Uh, we are just days away from the opening ceremony of the Tokyo Olympics. I can't wait. And already there is a bit of a controversy over some of the uniforms. So Paralympian Olivia Breen said she was left speechless after a female official confronted her over her uniform. She shared the story with Britain Sky News. Take a listen. This official came up to me and was like, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, what's up, you know? Because um, I got on quite well with all the officials. Obviously, I was in 18 months with COVID. And um, she was like, um, your, your briefs are too revealing. I think you should consider buying a pair of shorts. And I didn't know what to say. I just looked speechless. And I just said to her, are you joking? And she said, no, I think you should consider buying a pair of shorts. And I just looked at my teammate and just didn't know what to say. And then she walked off. But, yeah, it just... You shouldn't, you shouldn't tell us what we can't wear and can wear. Like, I've been wearing these for nine years of my career. I've never had a problem like this before. Wow. And meanwhile, the U.S. women's volleyball, beach volleyball team practiced yesterday wearing the traditional sports bra and bikini bottoms. This comes after the Norway handball team was fined by the European Handball Federation for refusing to wear the bikini bottoms. Excuse they said me? they wanted to wear longer shorts because they felt sexualized. All right. So this is a really important conversation. What do you, we want to hear from you, DBL Nation. What do you think of these Olympic outfits? Are they too revealing? Go to dblvote.com to wear in now you chimed in in the middle of that you I just can't shocked. believe I, I really thought about it and I'm not trying to be funny when I say this I promise I'm not but it that sounds like something that would happen at Hooters like if, if a young woman was wearing something and they're like no you need to be wearing the tight orange shorts and she's wearing like longer knee length shorts they'd be like you have to wear this because our customer base demands it that was the it, the first place my mind went and it's crazy Jeff that this is exact like first of all you guys competed at a high level just anybody saying anything to you on the field of play is almost it could it could, sw it could shift the balance. Well, just to balance this out a little bit, it's not just swim trunks or, or whatever swim shorts or beach volleyball shorts. The NFL, if you don't if you don't adhere to their protocol of what they want you to wear, like pulling your socks up, you get fined. Right. So there is yeah, a you're uniform not being code. Sexualized. The you're football not, players I, aren't being sexualized. I totally get that point of view. But how many people are they offending? Just change the uniforms. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. Change the uniforms. You shouldn't be fined or not be able to compete. It's a very easy fix. I don't. I think 98% of America would say, wear whatever you want. Completely. Th there's 2% that and are like watching, making this a story and now we're talking about it. And it's absurd. It's probably from a crazy person. That person who said that to the beach volleyball person is probably mentally insane. <laughs> probably. And I'm not, no, I'm not probably. even trying. I hear I'm not you. using it a joke. She probably has to take some sort of medication and she has her own problems and issues in her life and she puts it out on other people. That, I'm being 100% real. Well, right just now. to get a picture of it, I, I found this picture. This is the Norway handball team, the men's and then the wow. women's. Look at that difference. Ugh, That's what they didn't want right. to have to wear. Right. As a swimmer, what did you feel? As a swimmer, now, I, when I was swimming, our swim uniforms changed over time. So we had the standard swimsuit. And then if you guys remember in the last like six Olympics, you have like, we now, we, well, when I used to swim, it, we, I, we started wearing these high neck, almost like wetsuits. Yeah, not wetsuits because they don't provide protection, you know, against the elements. But yeah, they look similar to that of like a triathlete wetsuit. It goes down to the knees. It's supposed to be a little bit more aerodynamic. A lot of different women felt uh, more comfortable in those uniforms. Men no longer are wearing Speedos. They kind of wear more of like a biker short. So we've evolved. Um, I, I, some of the, the Olympic committees within each um, sport, they they see it as a tradition, but I think you need to listen to the athletes. If the athletes are saying we are more comfortable like this, then you need to respect them. They're the ones that are out there representing your country and have literally sacrificed their entire lives. Did you feel lives. uncomfortable ever wearing a swimsuit? I no, I was very comfortable in my own body, but there were a few incidents when I knew certain people would come watch us swim and compete and they were there for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. That made me angry and that made me feel sexualized. Yeah. But me personally, I felt very comfortable just in my own skin. Yeah, as a volleyball dad, I'm I'm scouting. I'm looking in the audience like where's right. your where's your yeah, kid at, dude? Yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah, like, very really? much. They were very little. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, okay, and not everybody in the stands, but you're right, there are some. Um, it looks like sixty five percent of you believe that the uniforms are too uniforms are too revealing mm. wow